Hey everyone, happy Wednesday. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. We are here in November, it's November 2nd, and as we enter November, people are gonna start thinking about Thanksgiving, which will be at the end of November. But if you're wondering what are some good candles that you can burn in November for Thanksgiving, I've got a good list here for y'all. So, as you can see, I just compiled a list of, how many do we got? I think we have nine. Yeah, we have nine Thanksgiving candles that are gonna be great to burn around the Thanksgiving time. I've got three of them here with me and then the six I don't have with me, but I'm just gonna list them off and describe them. But uh, yeah, we've got three different companies, three for each. So we have some Bath and Body Works, some Homeworks, and then some Yankee Candle as well. So no Kringle, no Goose Creek, no Village. Um, actually, speaking of Village, I have a Village candle burning right here. This is the Balsam Fur. Just trying to like, it was in my back collection from last year, I think. And I'm just trying to go through some stuff that is not really being used right now and just trying to finish it up. But anyways, let's get right into the video. Um, I'm going to start off with the ones that I have and then we'll get into the ones that I don't have in the end. The last one that I'm going to share with you guys is kind of a weird one, so I'm just warning you now. But anyways, let's start off with, let's start with um, homework. So the first one I have with me is called Deep Dish Apple Pie. Now, I don't think I featured this on my channel when I hauled it or uh, I don't even, I didn't even review this one. I purchased it this fall and I never got to burn it. It came in a TSV trio with, I think the other two were crimson leaves and then like a golden harvest pumpkin. I think that's what it's called. But this one um, is my favorite out of the trio. It is deep dish apple pie and it really just does smell like a apple pie. Um, the notes are gooey apple nectar, cinnamon, vanilla, and pie crust. This smells spectacular. This is a very um, sweet apple. You definitely get the nectar. I do get a lot of vanilla in this one as well as that um, pie crust with like a gourmand bakery vibe to it. It's a really nice apple scent. So this one would be perfect to burn around the Thanksgiving time or on Thanksgiving day. If you're having people over, this one would be really nice to burn. If you're um, not gonna bake an apple pie, you might wanna burn this and people will think you're gonna bake an apple pie. It might put you in the mood, but that is the first one. The other one from Homeworks that I have with me is one of my favorites from Homeworks, Cranberry Wreath. This one is so, so good. It is iced cranberries, fur needle, and fresh balsam. This one I have not gotten into yet. I have two in the back. Hi, Bella. This is my dog can't see her here I'll show you. say hi she's kind of scared of my tripod but she's gonna sit here with us anyways back to cranberry wreath so this is one of my favorites it really just does smell like like a juicy fresh cranberry um with some like balsam fir pine to it it's really nice it is iced cranberries fir needle fresh balsam and musk it's so beautiful I love it for the fall, for the winter, for the holidays. Thanksgiving, it's perfect. Cranberry is a really nice scent to burn during Thanksgiving, especially if you're gonna be making like a cranberry chutney or like cranberry jelly or some sort. Um, this is a really, really nice one to burn and it's a pretty scent. I love it for the holidays too. So I would definitely pick up a cranberry wreath. This one is one that people keep finding at like Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, those types of stores. So definitely go on the lookout for those because you may be able to find them there. Speaking of cranberry, another one of my favorite cranberry candles, Frosted Cranberry from Bath and Body Works. This one I've just recently fallen in love with. Um, I'll be honest, I'm never that huge on cranberry, but this year I'm just really enjoying some cranberry scents. And this is definitely one that has made me enjoy cranberry. It is iced cranberries, blonde woods, red apple, and tonka bean. Yeah, this is a beautiful scent. This is a very authentic, juicy, sweet cranberry. 
It really just does smell like a cranberry chutney or like a sweet cranberry pie. Um, it just smells amazing and I would definitely pick this up again. I love the packaging of this one. It did come out this year as you can see, but I really, really like this one and it is so beautiful. If you can find this, you might be able to find it. You might not because Bath & Body Works sold out of a lot of their fall stuff. I'm not sure if it's online right now or not, but I would try looking in your stores. I think my store saw a few of these. So it was a late fall release. Like I think it released in October or September. So I would check out your store to see if they still have them. But those are the three that I have with me. Now I'm going to get into the others that I don't have with me. Okay, so starting off, we're going to finish homework. So homework's Golden Harvest. Um, okay, let me remember. Golden Harvest is the spicy apple scent with a lot of spice to it. Um, it's definitely got that apple to it and it has a lot of spice as well. Um, it has a lot of clove and cinnamon if I remember. But it's a really nice scent. Um, so if you like spicy scents, I would suggest trying that one. If you don't like spicy scents, then I probably wouldn't suggest getting that one because it's definitely like a spicy apple type of scent. Kind of like, um, this is the one that is the Hallmark's dupe for leaves from Bath & Body Works, which is a very heavy scent. Golden Harvest is like a less heavy type of scent um, than leaves. So if you like leaves, but it's just way too strong for you, definitely check out Golden Harvest. Okay, um, Bath and Body Works, we talked about Frosted Cranberry. Let's talk about Golden, or sorry, not Golden Harvest, Harvest Gathering. So Harvest Gathering actually came in the Thanksgiving packaging. And it's kind of like Bath & Body Works Thanksgiving candle. Um, it is a really nice one in my opinion. I definitely pick up a lot of apple from that one and I get actually some cranberry for that one. I actually purchased one of them this year, but I just gifted it to my grandma since it was November. Um, and I totally forgot that I needed to film this video. So I was like, shoot. But I did show you guys that in like a few videos back from a few weeks ago, but I did give that to her because we do eat Thanksgiving at her house. So I just wanted her to um, have it for her home while we came for Thanksgiving. So I gave that to her, but it's a really nice scent. Um, it definitely has some apple, some cranberry, <clears throat> um, some spice. It's just a really nice scent and super fresh and nice and kind of nostalgic for Thanksgiving. So I really enjoy that one. Okay, let's talk about Yankee Candle um, Cranberry Chutney. I was never a huge fan of Cranberry Chutney, but I really like it now. It's definitely a sweeter cranberry type of scent, almost cloying. I like it. There's a lot of people who don't like it. I did not like it at first, but I do like it for the seasonal. Like, I don't think I would like it in the spring and summer. But for Thanksgiving, I think I would like it. Um, it's a really nice, sweet cranberry scent. It, it's not as juicy as like frosted cranberry, but it's very, very sweet. Um, I would try it out in the wax melt because it really is a nice Thanksgiving scent. So if you like cranberry, you'll probably like that. Okay, next up from Yankee Autumn Wreath. So Autumn Wreath is similar to Harvest Gathering where it has like the apple and the spice. Um, I think Autumn Wreath has pumpkin in it as well where the, what was it? Harvest Gathering does not have pumpkin and it's really just like apple, spice, and cranberry where I feel like Autumn Wreath has like cranberry, apple, spice, and pumpkin. So I like both scents, but um, I think that the Autumn Wreath is a bit more complex. Um, there's a lot of people who don't like Autumn Wreath though. And just so you know, Autumn Wreath and Pumpkin Wreath are two different scents. They're both from Yankee. Autumn Wreath is that nice Thanksgiving cranberry, juicy pumpkin apple spice type of scent where Pumpkin Wreath is like an earthy, sweet gourmand pumpkin scent. So two different scents and Pumpkin Wreath has been discontinued. A while ago but anyways anyways that is autumn wreath 
<clears throat> okay. Sorry, I'm looking down at my list here. Oops. The last one is Be Thankful from Yankee. That is a really nice one. It has come back as a returning favorite for the last few years, and I really like it. It's kind of like a roasted pumpkin type of scent with a lot of nutmeg in my opinion. It's not too much cinnamon or clove, I don't think. It's got a lot of nutmeg and like sweet notes. And this is going to sound odd, but I almost get like a sweet potato note from there and like brown sugar, but it's very gourmand and I really personally like it and think it's good. It might have a little bit of ginger in there as well. It's just kind of like it does smell like you're walking into like a warm, cozy house on Thanksgiving and you smell all the food cooking and it smells super, or it sounds super weird, but it smells great. So go to your Yankee and if they have it, try it. I have found some in my home goods, which is a two minute walk from my house. I found a lot of Be Thankful there. So check that out too. I think Yankee is now in home goods as well. So they are expanding. All right, and the Back to Bath and Body Works for my final Thanksgiving candle suggestion. This is a very odd one. It's called Thanksgiving Celebration. It came out this fall. If you missed it, this is the Turkey Gravy and Sage Candle. I did not like it at all. It made me feel gross. I hated smelling it, but... If you like it, then definitely go pick that up because that is a perfect Thanksgiving candle um, if you want to smell turkey, gravy, and sage. It's got a lot of sage. I'll tell you that most of it for me was sage and a little bit of like spice to it, but mainly sage is what I got. Um, so if you like a sage candle, you may like Thanksgiving celebration. I just couldn't smell it. It kind of grossed me out. But they had a ton of them at my store still because obviously nobody wants to buy them right now. But go get it if you want it. It's not online, but it is um, in the stores if you can find it. So that is the nine Thanksgiving candle suggestions I'm going to give you guys. Um, I know we're still a few weeks away from Thanksgiving, but it's going to be here by, you know it, and then Black Friday, Cyber Monday candle day it's all coming up and then of course christmas too new year's eve so much to look forward to but thank you so much for watching this video make sure to comment down below if you're going to be burning any of these candles for thanksgiving and if you have any more suggestions for all of us to look at make sure to put that down below in the comments again thanks so much for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you want to help support my channel and i will be back tomorrow for a few new holiday reviews so be there soon bye